us to another episode on ASUG 12 exams. So this is the 15th episode in a series of episodes where we focused on the November 2022 science paper team. So if you haven't seen the last 14 episodes, please check out on our YouTube channel. We have a playlist that contains all the questions from this paper. So question C2, nitrogen and argon are both elements found in hair. Question A, draw the electronic structures of nitrogen and argon. So question A here, we have nitrogen. So nitrogen, mass number is 14, then the number is 7. So if we were to configure these electrons in the shell to be 2, then 5. Then we will draw this because the question is asking us to draw the electronic structure of these two. That's what the question is asking us to do. So it's important that you get the question correct. So the first shell will have two electrons like that. Then the next shell will have also five. So it will be like that. Then let us say we put another one like here. So we have five outside and this is nitrogen. Then when we go to argon, argon on the periodic table is 14 mass number. Then we have this. Then proton number is 18. So in the first shell, we are going to have two. Then the second shell, eight. Then two plus eight is 10. 18 minus 10 is 8. So we're going to have like that. So we're going to have this shell, second shell, then third shell. Let me use a different color so that you see it clearly. So this, like that. Then we have another complete, 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 complete. So we're going to have this to be like that. Then this is argon like that. So once you do that, we are good to go. This is what question A requires us to do for us to get these two marks. B, with reference to the electronic structures in A, explain why nitrogen and argon are found in period 2 and D, period D, 3 respectively. So we need to explain that with reference to the structure that we've done in question A. So before I answer the question, there are two key things that you need to know. The first thing is what determines the group in which a given element belongs. So you see the number of electrons in the outermost shell. So if you look at nitrogen, it has five. So it belongs to group five. Argon has eight in the last shell. So it belongs to group eight or group O. Then secondly, what determines the period in which a given element belongs? It's the number of shells present in a particular atom of an element that determine the period in which the element belongs. So in this case, these two shells are found in nitrogen. So nitrogen belongs to period D2. This one has got one, two, three, so three shells, so this one belongs to group three. So you need to take note of those key points. So the answer now, nitrogen is in period two because it has only the two shells of electrons in its atom while argon is in period 3 because it has 3 shells of electrons 
in each atom. So in conclusion, the number of shells determines the period. This is just for you to take note. The period in which an element belongs. So you have to think around it, these points. So what is key is it mention that the number of shells determines the period in which the element belongs. Once you do that, you are assured of the full max. Question C. The flowchart shows the separation of nitrogen undergone from air by fractional distortion. So we have filtered air, then X, liquid, Y, we have nitrogen at the, uh, negative 186 degrees Celsius, then we have argon at negative 186 degrees Celsius. Describe the processes that takes place at X and D, Y. Then Loma numeral 2 give one use of nitrogen gas. So at X, what is happening is we are eating the filtered hair with varying temperature. So this is heating the filtered air with varying temperature. Then at Y, we are condensing the liquid air, we are condensing liquid air with varying condensation point. So we are reducing the temperature so that we collect them at different condensation temperature. So what we are saying is, so you see Loma number one, X is heating of filtered hair with varying temperature. Then Y is a condensation used to separate air into fractions. So what are these fractions? So at negative 96 degrees Celsius, we have nitrogen. Then at negative 186 degrees Celsius, we have argon. That's what is happening. If you do this, you are good to go. Then Loma number two, give the uses of nitrogen gas. So I'll give you a number of them, the number of uses that you can choose from. So number one, nitrogen is used in chemicals industries to manufacture things like him fertilizers nitric acid we have nylons we have explosives so this could be one that you could choose number two is used nitrogen is used to make ammonia by the urban process. So it's another this process that you need to know because it's normally comes. So the equation is react nitrogen gas with hydrogen to give you ammonia. This is the ammonia gas. So can you get an equation like this? Then you can balance it on your own. If you want to balance it, you can do a quick balancing here. So we have one. We have two this side. Then here we have one. So to balance it, we need a two here. So that we have two, two. Then we have six hydrogen. Here we have two. So we put a three there. Then it is balanced. So let me give you two more so that you have a variety to choose from. So it is also used in food industry. Nitrogen is used in food 
industry to prevent it from oxidation. Chips are sprayed with nitrogen gas to prevent it from undergoing oxidation. So number four, it is used in the manufacturing of steel in the steel industry. So you can choose any of these, you'll be fine. Question D, argon is liquid at negative 188 degrees Celsius. In what state will argon be at positive 5 degrees Celsius or 5 degrees Celsius? So, since this is a liquid, at 5 degrees Celsius, this will be gas. The common mistake is people forgetting the negative. Remember, as you are moving from negative 188, you are moving towards the 5 degrees Celsius, we are increasing the temperature. So if this is liquid, then by the time you are reaching here, this is in gaseous state. Solid is this side, which is maybe negative 200 degrees Celsius, it will be solid. So take note of that. Pay attention to the sign. Loma numerum. Two of them draw a diagram to show how the atoms of argon are arranged at 5 degrees Celsius, which is the gaseous state. So, if it's the gaseous state, we are going to just make and use this a box. Then, this is D, Loma numero 2. So, we only have this or two, meaning these particles are highly spaced and they are moving random. Hence, this will be the structure of the agony because you see in the gaseous state. In the solid state, you are going to have a, a pattern, a regular pattern, and the particles will not be able to move, they will be vibrating at a fixed position. In this, they are able to move round and about. That's what you need to show. So, once you do that, you are assured to get this one mark. Make sure what is key is show space enough space to see to show that these particles in argon at this temperature they are able to move randomly and from and backward thank you for joining me in this episode please join me in the last episode as we look at question c3